Hi guys, welcome back to Lucky's 3D Studio. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this cool LED edge lit acrylic sign using the SnapeMaker 2.0 A350 3-in-1 3D printer sent to me by SnapeMaker, which is also a sponsor for today's video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. This LED edge lit sign is made of a CNC curved wood base, a 3D printed lithophane box, and a laser engraved acrylic plate. I took this picture of the Great Wave of Kanagawa and I cut the picture into three separate pictures like this using Inkscape since it's a free graphic editor software and easy to use as well. Next, I created the SDL file for these two pictures and I found out the easiest way to do that is to use the flat lithophane generator on lithophanemaker.com. I set the resolution to 0.1 maximum thickness to 3mm and minimum thickness to 1mm. For this part of the picture, I converted it to SVG, again using Inkscape. I selected Edge Detection under Trace Path option and moved the Edge Threshold slider until I was happy with how that looks. To create the G-code to CNC carve the wood base, I used Fusion 360. I made the roughing cut as well as the finishing cut, and I also made a pocket cut around the picture so it will look like a border. Now the wood base is rather thick, so you can't use the clamp to hold it down. The best work holding method to hold your work piece down is to use painter's tape and super glue. Then I applied super glue to the tape and placed the wood on top of it and let the glue dry. The type of wood that I used for the base is basswood. Next, I loaded the G-code from the USB flash drive, ran the calibration and started the carving job. Now to create the little fanny box, I designed a box without a front wall. I also added some holes for screws and I made this elongated pillar in the middle so I could loop the LED strip around it. Of course, the box also need a lid so I designed a lid with a groove so I could place the acrylic plate on top of the lid. I used Cura Slicer to work on the 3D file. For the box, I just dropped the file in Cura followed by the generated STL file from lithophanemaker.com. It kind of magically closed that opening of the box automatically. I just needed to change the orientation and then used the printer to print it. Then the lid was what I printed next. Now, SnapeMaker 2.0 A350 has a 1.6 watt diode laser module, so unlike a higher powered laser or a CA2 laser, it generally couldn't laser engrave a transparent acrylic plate. But there's a trick to that. I used this white chalk marker to paint the surface of the plate and used the SnapeMaker own software, SnapeMaker Luban, to laser engrave the plate and it worked great. After that's done, I just ran tap water and rubbed the paint off the plate. I also sanded down all the edges except the bottom edge to kind of trap the lights in. Yeah. 
Now I got this 4mm cup light strip and I passed it through this small hole I just created with a soldering iron since I forgot to do it on Fusion 360. Then I looped it around the pillar and finally stick the strip on top of it and cut the axis. Then I attach the light box to the wood base with screws and put the lid on. Finally, I just placed the acrylic plate into the groove of the lid and turned the light strip on. The result is amazing, I mean this will look so good either on my desk or in my bedroom. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did since I had so much fun doing this project as I wanted to use all the features of the printer. I'm super happy with my first LED sign that I even decided to do a second one which was a bit simpler and quicker to make. I hope that this video will give you some inspiration on how to make your own sign and as always I appreciate that you could give a like and comment on my video or subscribe to the channel if you haven't and I'll see you guys on the next one.